What I have realized is like I'm not perfect and I can't expect anybody to be perfect. Tell me baby why you look like that, walk like that, sound like that. You move it different so you push me back and you want me back but you hurt me back. Yeah. I am excited to drink with my friends <laughs> and okay. make memories, relax, Yay. and you know, enjoy life. I think a lot of us like will be going and worried about the next thing that we don't enjoy life. Right. So like actually enjoying life. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know about Getting you guys, but for me, this is my first vacation in 2020. Really? Yeah. This is my first vacation since March 2019. So Beatrice is I think, yeah. I haven't really been anywhere besides Indiana this year. And Dallas. Well, I've gone to New York. I can't lie to you, I haven't gone to New York twice, but it doesn't count. It's not like this home. Yeah. Seems like I'm just sorry. This is my fault. No, I, um, I came back from St. Lucia in January, but I haven't like left since. That was my last trip. Well, we're here, guys, and like honestly, like I know you guys know that I'm a sensitive to the theology sometimes, so I really do appreciate your guys' company. I specifically asked you guys to go because I really do enjoy like you guys as people, and I like think you guys are just good-hearted people, and I needed that right now. You know, like I don't need no drama, and you guys are peaceful. No drama. And I love you guys. Yeah, yeah. And you know, like we would all have a good time. Like it's not like oh. Someone's gonna complain, someone's gonna complain. Like, we would all right. genuinely have a good time. You know yeah. I'm friendly. I just wanted a certain vibe and I think like thank you guys for just being here. Like, you know? and, like, oh, you guys, like the fact that I was like, hey, I know you guys didn't know each other, but I'm going somewhere with like random people, you guys were like, okay, sure. <laughs> Like the kit that I got, yeah. Come to this. All right, guys. So I it was guys, whose class is whose? Mine. I think she's yours. Um, yeah, I was gonna I say mine's right there. That's what I. That's my confident answer. Do I really know? Absolutely. He's a player. He's a member on the team. He put in all the work. He wanna be the MVP. I told him ain't no taming me. I love my niggas equally. Fucking nine to five niggas with that superstar beat. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm taking another shot. Again? Wait, where is that? I'll take it right now. A shot? Yeah. I'll take one with you. Okay. Getting started yeah. and then it fucked up. Alright, what were you doing? I yeah. got right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My anaconda don't. Look at me talking about my anaconda with my little man buddy. Right, hmm. Yeah, so we're such. And died. Muerte. Este muerte. <coughs> because look at that and they were over here judging she's not naked she has shorts on literally look fell off the hammock but they were judging us 
because we know how to balance. They were judging us, Jalen. They were judging. They're jealous. Now they're on the floor. Play with me. Play with me. Period. Food literally looks amazing. You both did so good. Wow. So I just made breakfast. There are bacon, sausage with potatoes, um, pancakes, and oop, couldn't open it. <laughs> Tried my best. Look at that. Thought I was a YouTuber. I give up. And then eggs, and then I put the juices out. So here is the update. We're all in our bathing suits now. Um, but I need to get some bug spray because. The bugs, for some reason, are just really bold here, and they be eating people alive. So I need to get some bug spray. Yeah, the bugs are like eating me alive, but the scenery is so beautiful, y'all. Like, my friend, she booked this Airbnb, she outdid herself. Like, let me show you the scenery. Well, first, let me show you my bathing suit. Y'all, it looks like something out of a movie. Don't you think? Why won't it focus? Doesn't this look like something out of, like, a movie? It's the most beautiful place I've ever been. Well, that's a lie, but it is very, very beautiful. Anything you want to say about our trip so far? It's a beautiful day to be alive. <laughs> Drunk. And we're having an amazing time. I love that. It was, you know, perfect. There's exactly. nothing else you could have said. Exactly. And finito. It's and done. <laughs> y'all, I'm gonna try to lay in this hammock. We broke the other one. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like, my ass, I tried to sit in this hammock. I flipped over and was on the ground twice. So I'm afraid to use that damn hammock. Like, I don't know. I think the hammock is racist because I tried to sit on the hammock and it flipped me over. Nobody else was getting flipped over but me. For lunch. For lunch. And the fact that this is only lunch, like, yeah, I'm just so excited. And these chickens with the pancake batter is amazing. And then we got string beans, we got baked chicken, and we got rice and corn. Isn't it so good? Alright guys. Bon Yay! Woo! It's so good. So the chicken I didn't what you were saying first or do you want to start from when so, he said, um, well, actually, what are you looking so for? we're talking about relationships what you're looking for in a relationship yeah. right now so i have been in a relationship my entire life like, and we're all different ages since I, i'm yeah. 32 and i have been in a relationship or in some type of situation with someone since i was 17. I've, I've never been like even if i said i was single oh i gosh. never was single like i always kind of like I had a whole boyfriend like living with me, and I was like, yeah, I'm single, but um, I never was. So this is my first time in my life that I've actually been single, but I kind of haven't been. So you guys know I've been fucking around the last like with bad situation. So now that I'm like out of that bad situation, I'm completely single by myself, like sleeping by myself in a bed, eating by myself, everything alone, like not feeling the need to call anybody when I go to sleep or when I wake up, like just not giving a fuck. Um, I'm trying to figure out like who do I want to lay next to. Like I have everything I need. Like I have food, I have water, I have money in the bank, I have my credit to I. But you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like you know, I don't like my bills are taken care of. Like so, like yeah. I, I'm not saying I have options. But we all do. I do. Like I can call up a guy and be like, hey, you know. But I am trying to figure out like, who do I actually want to lay next to like who do i actually want to share this meal with who do i actually want to tell how my day is going that is what i'm looking for like 
it's I'm not like attraction to me is non existent anymore. I've dated hot guys and dated right, guys yeah. with fucking the best sex in the world, but like I still felt empty. And yeah, it's so not so when I think about like being with someone, I think about someone who doesn't drain my cup and just allows my own cup to overflow where I don't feel empty, where like even if I'm not with you, I feel you. I don't know if that fucking makes sense. Like I just want to feel fulfilled by someone. I'm fulfilled on my own, but I want it to like some sense of security with someone where I don't have to question them. I think everything else, once you have that kind of good sex, is going to come with chemistry. Good sex is going to come right. with, you know. Um, and and I think like being attracted to somebody I think on an emotional, like mental level. No, I was saying to your point about level. physically, like it's one that you can physically be track uh, be attracted to somebody, like see somebody, be like, oh, they're hot, like that's anything but if you meet somebody who maybe you're not as physically attracted to at first but like you can become more attracted to them basically like you have like a mental connection with them or you're attracted to them like on a mental emotional spiritual level it makes them more attractive to you i think yeah. physically too i agree i totally agree i think that i mean as i've gotten older i've changed some looks and i oh, yeah. like even We're other people too. that I know, like, even, like, I've dated someone who I would, would be considered, like, less attractive than someone, and I've also dated people with, like, that were really attractive, and, um, I think what I've gotten from either or, like, I could be in love, like, once you're in love, none of that matters. Does that make sense? Like, you, if you're in love, nothing matters. Age, like, if that, and I want to get to that point where I'm in love with someone, but, like, the things that are supposed to matter do, and the ones that don't, don't, do something. But I don't think that fucking Like, I feel like once you're in love, you're not even looking at someone's flaws. So to right. start off a relationship by, like, being like, oh, I can't date that person. Like, their eyes aren't blue, or, hey, I can't do that. Like, I think that's what gets me, but. I think for me, I was saying, like, I... I'm not really looking for anything right now. I'm more um, concerned about... The only relationship that I'm concerned about right now is a relationship with myself. And um, I'm so pretty, like, freshly out of a relationship. It's only been, like, I don't know, a couple months. Um, and I feel like that relationship kind of took a lot from me on, like, an emotional and a mental level. I feel like I was in a good place before that, and so I'm kind of trying to get back to that point. And um, I was asking myself at first, like, a lot of, like, why questions, like, why didn't this work out? Why did he do this? Or why didn't I do that? And then I realized that, like, all of those why questions aren't really doing anything for me. They're not benefiting me at all. And um, I had to, like, that's, those are things I had no control over. So I had to start focusing on the things that I do have control over and, like, what can I learn from this? What can I take from this relationship to make me better or take into my next relationship to make it more successful? Um, so when I... That's what I'm, like, focusing on right now more is, like, myself and healing from that. Um, but when I am ready, I think I could have a list. And I did at one point, like, after that relationship, I was like, what am I looking for? And I literally went through and, like, made a list of, like everything that I want in somebody and is that fair no so that's the thing I'm not I think I can have that idea like oh I want somebody who's this 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 and that and what I have realized is like I'm not perfect and I can't expect anybody to be perfect so what I'm really looking for when I am ready is somebody that is just going to be fucking real with me mm -hmm. like there is so much shit that I can see past like I said, I know I'm good. I know that I'm not perfect and I don't expect anybody to be perfect. There's a lot of shit that I can see past. There's a lot of things that I can, that I'm willing to work through. I'm not saying that anything is like off the table. Like that's a complete deal breaker. But like you have to be honest with me about those things. Like it's to be, hard to, to find like to get to that. That's what I'm saying. That's what's like the most important, like, what I have realized I think is the most important thing is honesty and, like, loyalty. And somebody, honesty and loyalty. Well, but not everybody wants the truth. Like, they will say, I want you to tell me the truth, and then when they hear it, they're upset and they're Well, not everybody, everybody right. can handle See, not everybody can handle it. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like at this point in my life, I have been through enough shit. I, ha I am so proud of where I am at on a yeah, mental yeah, and emotional yeah. level that anybody who, who won't tell me the truth about something because they're worried like it's gonna hurt my feelings or I'm not gonna be able to handle it or how I'm gonna react it almost to me is like insulting like 
I don't want those. Because I'm so, I feel like I really am emotionally matured and, and that I, I can handle those things. And like those. What? <laughs> oh, the dog. Oh, I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Did we do something over there? No, but I, I agree with you. Like, I, like, and the um, same thing. Like, this person told me, a friend of mine said to me, like, you should never be looking for something. You should consider it waiting. Like, take that time. How can you expect something in somebody if you don't have it yourself? So I can't okay. expect someone who's, like, a reader. If I don't read, I can't expect yeah. someone who's, like, oh, financially sound. I'm not. And you'll attract that. So you attract what you put out. And for a long time, yeah. I attracted a certain vibe because I was, I, I realized it. I was like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do this or that. But the real thing, like, I think that a lot of people are real, but in their own fashions. So what I learned about myself and being by myself is I have my own standard and definition of what real is. Some people think real is like a dude telling his girlfriend, I cheat on you, but then I'm still going to sleep with you at night. Like, no. I think like... <laughs> that's, that's not what I meant. Like, no, I know, I know, but someone who just matches my mental, because honestly, I have said that. Like, just be fucking real with me. And then someone has said something to me or did something and been honest about it and it like haunted me. Where I yeah. can never see that person in the same light again. So I want my version of real. Like I want to be able to communicate with someone and them not like fuck with. Cause I I don't know about you guys. I've been in fucking mental relationships where like someone fucks with my mental and it would fuck up. Like something would happen with this person and I wouldn't be able to do the simplest shit. I'd have to like go to the supermarket and I'd be so like wrapped That's up. What, yeah, when I'd be like, Rah, I'm gonna fucking smoke weed and like stare at Facebook for two hours because I can't process so like I just want someone who balances me that's it like I don't know how to yeah like I'm my own version of crazy I'm not for everyone so like if I could just find someone who like looks at me it's like that's it and I can look at them and be like that's it and we you think there would be like fake You're no gonna, like, I think some of the, like the most <laughs> um, like mentally healthy people that I know go to therapy because like who does like, the person, yeah. does the person like that people. need like a lot of people come to me for advice all the time? I'm sure the same for you guys. Like oh yeah, who that's do you the go thing. To the other like, day, uh, yeah, everything like I was thinking about the other day. Like I literally five or me. six people had called me. They were like close people in my life, friends, family, asking like venting to me about things or like kind of seeking like counsel. And I and I, in the moment I'm like so into it and like passionate about it and like. Giving my advice, my opinion. You're one of them. I call you. You're one of them. Like I can say, like you're one of them. I get about about it. It. I'm like, so passionate about it. I I'm like, she hey, told me about like, how you a little bit about how you had you got a little bit passionate about her too. Because I Cause remember how I told you. I had told to her just so it's clear. Um, remember, like sometimes I can go to people that I care about and kind of vent to them, and then because you guys love me so much, you guys get passionate. You get about passionate. It. You care about somebody, and then and you want that. You want yeah, to protect them, and like. And, and then I, you guys give yeah. me great advice, but then also that's like me draining you guys. So it's no, like, I don't. I didn't go. think about it like that. The way that I thought about it was after I ta I got so passionate about it, and it was like I went into like protective, like mother hen mode, and I'm like, oh, like I will kill, I will defend, yeah, yeah, I will kill anybody that like ever looks at you funny. And then after I got off the phone with you and I calmed down and I, I thought about it, and I was like, was that how I handled that effective, like? Well, I mean, did I communicate effectively? Did I in a place to, to make you, you want to do that, or no. was I like? No, you. I think that I think because we are close, like you kind of can like feel me as a person. Yeah. So you know, and you see me. You see me on, and you see me off as a person. But one of the things about loving somebody and caring about somebody, like you can't control them. You have to kind of let somebody like learn on their own. And so I don't ever want my love or friendship like to come across as me trying to like be controlling no never 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 never, never. and i, I want to be supportive that way i no. just think for you like and this is something i've had to train myself on because remember like we were friends and then we fell out for like a hot minute because you were just giving me a lot and i was already living in the bronx i was stressed out I had a lot going <laughs> you were just giving me a lot and i was living in the bronx like and this was like maybe a but week. you were real like, thing. you were real was and she was like girl you gotta like, like take her she I broke up a break. She she broke up. Broke I up gave, we broke up. We were not <laughs> sexual. We were not in an emotional like relationship, and she literally was like, "I was like, I can't do this. Like, I'm breaking up with you." And but then, like, when she I, did. you know, when I came, I called you back like a month later. 
um, I had to make a decision like when BB comes to me to tell me things, is it because she wants to vent or because she genuinely wants advice? Because a lot of times right. yeah. you will come to me and be like, well, what should I do? But like in the back of your mind, you already know what you're going to do. You're just, you just want all the options. So I, I'm that type of person where I want to see want it. Advice. I think you want to just vent because you don't feel heard with the people that are actually doing stuff to you. Yeah. So it's easier to be like, well, let me tell my friends because I feel like I'm not being but heard I've when I learned. actually go through it. I've learned because like I'll say now, guys, I just want to vent. My my counselor yeah. told me this. We all have people that we call for certain reasons. Like yeah. Yeah. you can always, if you want, if you want to find somebody that's going to agree with you, like you can always find somebody that agrees that agrees with you if you yeah. call enough people. So it's like, are you calling somebody because you just want to I vent? call you or guys like, when I'm in a moment, if I just want to vent, like, for example, like, when I was in my relationship, when things were going wrong in my relationship, very rarely ever did I talk to anybody outside of my relationship. But you should, I yeah. thought that I was, like, at, that I was doing that out of respect for my relationship. Like, I didn't want to, like, give him a bad name or, like, talk well, badly about him or whatever. Like, it can go very two-sided when you call your friends only to bash the person you're with and then expect them to like that person when you bring them exactly like, it's hard like so that, that really i tried difficult. to be respective of that like yeah. i don't want to go to my mom and be like oh he hurt my feelings and then be like mom here 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 he is here love him he's so great like yeah. like yeah. yeah so i tried to be respective of in that sense but but um you do have people like like probably whenever you call us you know now the kind no, of reaction but I that we're really gonna get go you. to you guys because I can easily call like no offense, don't take so much. Like I I go to you guys specifically because I know you guys will be. That's what I'm saying. Like like you I know can what place call you're at. like no offense um a girl a mutual friend you know I can call her and she'll be like yeah that's great and I'm gonna be like oh you have certain people you know, you're so like, that you know I go to you and yeah. I'm like hey what the fuck do you think about this and you're like absolutely not I remember one time you were driving you're like. I can hear you. You're like, absolutely not. I was like, okay. No. She'll text me sometimes. Sometime, yeah. And I'll call me, no, what are you doing? Yeah. Literally, like the other yeah, day so. when we were in your kitchen and I asked you, I was like, do you want me to just agree with you? Because you know, I'll never go for this. Yeah. Like, and I was yeah. like, absolutely not. That's why I'm asking you. And of course it's, I, I go to you guys because I, you I typically support, don't like, have tough love in my life. Yeah. Everybody oh, kind of lets me do what I want. Right. So like, that's a problem, and it's always been a problem in my relationship too. Because I can like say the guys that I was with were toxic, but I obviously was like ninety percent of the problem. And it's because they just let me do what the fuck I want. And a lot of people around me are well, like, "Well, and I think you run over them too." Yeah, that's been an issue. <laughs> yeah, I kind of so, so with you guys, I can't. You guys are like never you gonna looking for a guy that's strict, or you looking for a guy that's no, not a guy that's strict because that can turn to control. First of all, she's well, not I'm looking for not, anything, she said. No, I'm just saying. I'm not like, like, I so don't, I've don't only ever dated, like, strict, like, I don't know why. I don't know. Like, I'm like this free bird. I'm like, hey, I'm Phoebe. And they're like, I'm going to catch her. Like a Pokemon. And then all of a sudden, like, it makes me fucking, I'm serious. In all my relationships, I've dated very, like, strict, like, stern people. They're so not. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, authoritative. Like, I always have. So, like, obviously, I don't think that's. What's interesting, I think, about me and my relationship history is <laughs> none of them, I can't say, oh, I typically date guys that are like this. No, I they every all guy that I've dated you know, has they? this. No. Like, they're all so different. completely different. Yeah. That's good, though. Like, but I'm talking like like white guys, black guys. Well, I've dated one Spanish black guy. Spanish guys. Uh, yeah, a Latino guy. Like, um, and then, like, they're, I mean, they're just so so unbelievably well, different. Well, their feedback to you of things that maybe went wrong or things that didn't go well, were they similar? Like, have you heard consistently, like, you are too open or you no. are too nice or you're too mean or you, like, have there anything across the board that you're the like, The one okay. thing that I've heard out of the last two relationships mm -hmm. was um, in terms of my communication, I am not somebody in the moment. Like, Okay, I'm a kind of a calculating person, but I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm not somebody who like something happens and I'm like, here's what you did and this is how it made me feel in the moment. I need time. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to scream at you. I'm not going to make a scene. But maybe I need time to process. to process it and to figure out how can I effectively articulate how I'm feeling, how this made me feel so that we can have a productive conversation to where it's going to get to a point where 
we're gonna be able to resolve this. Because me yelling and stuff is not. But the guys, the past two guys that I have dated have taken that as, like they needed to know right away, like what's wrong, what did I do, or what, and I'm like, hold on, like, uh, they couldn't take, they couldn't take that. that's because they had, they had like, some people can't, a lot of people can't control their emotions, and some people, and I'll be honest, I, I'm one of these people, um, you have such a, like, kind of already guilty mindset, so when someone questions you or tells you, like, hey, we need to talk, you instantly are like, Oh, fuck. What did I get? What do you yeah. know about? So I'm that person. I'm that person where if you hit me up and we're like, hey, um, I need to talk to you later. You know, I was thinking about a couple of things. I'm gonna be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to chill. I'm gonna be like, what did yeah. I do? It's like all you want to talk, all you want to talk. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, what did I do? Yeah, so I'm gonna pull you. What you want to talk about? I thought we were going good. But it's funny because in one of my relationships, um, I. Like I took that, 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 and really thought about that. And I feel like I'm trying to like work on that. Um, and a lot of that has to do with some like stuff from my past where like literally when I was a child, I'm not going to get into all that right well, now. But working but, on trauma, I think is important. Yeah. Like, after I'll get into like what I want. Well, that's what yeah. you're doing, right? You're well, like... literally, and that's why my youth has been doing so well. Hey, period. No. <laughs> um, but I'm literally like so deeply in love with myself yes. and I can genuinely yes. say that I'd always be like oh I love myself no I don't I I love things about me but now like I could never no one could ever tell me something about myself because I already know you're selfish you're damn right <laughs> you you are not the best when it comes to communicating your feelings you're damn right and I'm working on these things but I right. know myself so much that no one can Amen. tell me anything yeah um but I also I love that. again love therapy um, have been working through my trauma. It is not right to emasculate the person you're dating, but that's just what I know because that's what I've what seen, seen, so that's what right. I've done. That's, yeah. And you have end up with negative seen, results. Right. Have you, oh, sorry to cut you off, but like, no, just for a period, like, I saw something and it's like, when you, have you ever seen, my therapist asked me, have I ever seen a healthy relationship? That's a big thing, too, because I, like, I hadn't. I'm like, like no, I mean, yeah. my mom and my dad were like, and then my grandma was divorced, my mom had, like, boyfriends, and, like, my dad was in jail, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I have a healthy relationship with my dog. I see him every day. I feed him. And he's like, well, what healthy relationships have you seen? Like, not only in couples, friendships. And right. I'm like, um, I have a best friend, but she did this. And he's like, no, like, healthy. So, like, what examples did you have to even know how to, like... See, I think before, and, like, that's why I've had Amani on my channel twice now, because she hasn't had good examples of relationships. Amani's my best friend. She hasn't had like good examples. Shout out of money. Love you. Huh? She's gonna see this and be like, bitch, I'm talking about you. <laughs> um, but uh, she didn't have examples at all. Her dad was in jail. Her mom, you know, was doing her thing. So because of that, like, she had to find out for herself what is it that she wants and what she thinks is acceptable and what isn't. To where now she is in a healthy relationship. They're moving in together literally this weekend. Like, it's very serious. They've been together for two years, but he's a very kind man. He's a very respectful man. He would never raise his voice or talk crazy to her. And God forbid they get in an argument. Like, well, they were going to talk it out. But they also both were in therapy for years before they met each other. Like, she was looking for a very specific man and dated for, like, a long time. I, when I first met her, she had maybe 10 different guys in her phone, and she wasn't even sleeping with them. She'd be like, this guy is here for this, this guy is here for this, like, real Megan Thee Stallion, okay? <laughs> but hot girl summer all year round. Like, she was not playing with anybody. And I appreciated that about her because I saw that I don't have to always be in a relationship. Like, life goes on. And right. she was really, you know, that is she had thing, men yeah. throwing them out. Oh, this guy got on my nerves, throwing that, them yeah. out. Like, it was very quick, which showed me that I don't have to the minute I like someone now I'm with you now we're together we have to be like no I can date you and then over time maybe I don't like you as much and I let you go or maybe I do like you and we become serious but I don't have to the minute and I think a lot of women do this they'll date for like a month and then the minute they find one that they like everybody's gone and it's like well two months later you might realize that that person you really liked is not who you thought they were right because anybody can be amazing. anybody they want to be for the first three months yeah like yeah. they're not as amazing as maybe you thought and that's kind of where i'm at now where i'm dating two different people they both know that i'm dating outside of them so it's no lying or anything um but they're both there for different reasons one person um she's down in miami 
So I'll be excited to visit. Um, I met her in the airport, literally. So I'll be excited to visit. Um, <laughs> but she's very sweet. She's very passionate. I think she wears her heart a little too much on her sleeve. Like she loves you, she'll do anything. Um, but her family life is just a little toxic, and I don't like that. Her mom is kind of stressful, and I don't, you know, I don't like that. Um, the other girl who's in Charlotte, she's cool. Um, she's very like a gentleman with titties. I keep telling her that. <laughs> she's like, don't say that ever again. I'm like, huh, but your name titties. is in my phone. Woo. Um, but she's really cool. She's very sweet, very kind. She'll hold the door open. She pay if we all went out, she pay for everybody's food. Um, the only thing I don't like is, you know, she is selling drugs. I can't do it. I will never. I'm not visiting anyone in the penitentiary. I don't put money on nobody's books. That's not my life. <laughs> I will never date? do it. Like how do you so I don't, money. I don't, don't money. ask me. Your commissary is empty. Don't call me. This is a collect call. I will hang up. I don't do it. See, I don't do that. She's like, I don't do that. Uh -uh. So do you enjoy dating some people? Because like for me, dating, so I don't know how to date. Let's just be real. Like for me, dating right now is like downloading Tinder, which I'm scared to do. Oh, I don't even go on Tinder. But that's what I'm saying. Like I don't even know how to like, I, I do meet people. Time. Let me not say I don't meet people. I do meet some people. And like I do, I those people I tend to like, you know, communicate with, but like, well, how I do you like date multiple people? Like, isn't you that like? Because I like this is my first like. How does that work? Like, I've been multi dating for almost six months now. Like, but do you multi dating, sleep with both of them? dating both. Well, I haven't slept with either one of them yet. Oh, so okay. We're not, so, we're not so you guys are, okay. So okay, I get that. Mm -hmm. I but, thought it was like. A I think if it was like that, I could. If it was a yeah, sexual if it was thing, sexual, I, I like, can't do that. I can't like. I couldn't. Yeah. Like if I have. I don't want to be exchanged because I really do believe whenever you sleep with like have sex with somebody, like, you sometimes. I at least I can't say this as a generalization, mm -hmm. but for me personally, I feel like I take on whatever energy. Like well, from that me, person. Like, if you're fucked up and I'm sleeping with you, yeah, I feel like eventually it's gonna make me fucked well, up. And also, like, Do you think so? Oh, no, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, when you're dating, especially, I don't date men, so I can't, you know. Yeah. But I've had friends literally tell me they'll know when, like, their man has cheated or when someone they're dating is because <gasps> your pH will be off. Don't even, yeah. Like, that all. <laughs> <I've been, laughs> don't even get me started on my like, I'm doing what you're doing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but you know. When somebody's fucking around on you, you like it's because, like, yeah, I'm not and again, say this, I don't, but. you know, I'm not. That's not my story. So I can't. Right. So like we've all, yeah, we've all hooked up with people, right? I think men and women, <laughs> no, like virgins. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> like so for men and women, I think you exchange energies with someone, whether it's a fling, whether it's a relationship. Yeah, that's why you kind of have to be like, you know, you don't want to just walk into Seven Eleven and be like, hey, you, let's go. <laughs> right. So like, I think. I think that for me, I don't think you develop certain ties until like you're bonded with someone. I think it's a like for me, I have to be. Um, I can have sex with someone and not have an emotional bond with them. Does that make sense? See, for me, it's like way more about the person than the sex. Like, cause I've I've been celibate since November. Hi. Um, you know, abstinent. Abstinent. I'm not sorry. Celibate. Abstinent. No. So, I no. haven't been fucking. <laughs> 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 Try this though. I told you I'm gonna try this with you. I'm gonna. I don't it. think you'll like it. I like it because that's how I'm dating, so I'm not getting the sex confused with the right. emotion. Right. So that's the thing. That's the thing. You that's can that's be right. so yeah, blinded sorry. if you do not establish like a strong mental and emotional connection with somebody first, and you immediately just confusing. start fucking. And then you'll and be not like, just well, that it's confusing, but you're you're guided. You're not guided by love. You're, you're not guided, guided by, by somebody's mind. You're not gonna, guided by that. You're guided by lust and infatuation. And yeah. that's not a place where you want to be. Right. Um, okay. That's not a relationship like set up for success. And that's why like while I'm dating, I want to be celibate. And they know that as well. Like I'm very, one thing honestly that we talked about, like I'm, I'm telling them all this. Like, oh no, I'm not having sex with you. So I'm what if, dating. what if you, okay. All right. Ooh, our last meal of the day. Got tacos, got vegetables, got rice, meat, some wine. You did good, Ashley. You. <laughs> Bringing to the stage. What's your uh, secret stripper name? Ash Cheeks. Formerly known as Ash <laughs> Lemon <laughs> Lemon drop. <laughs> lemon drop is about to give Miss Beatrice a dance. 
Her, her stage debut. Her stage debut. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck that. Start over. Ooh. <laughs> Nobody wanted this, but it's happening. That's all folks. Um, I got home yesterday. I'm deep conditioning my hair because I literally had it in that wig the entire weekend. And I hadn't like really washed my hair in a while. But let me know what you guys thought of the vlog. If you liked it, if you'd like more vlogs, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Poo. And let me know what kind of video content you'd like to see from me. Of course, I'm still doing my feminine energy videos. I just wanted to give y'all, you know, a little break before I just come with a whole bunch more. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of today's vlog, you know. We took a little break from quarantine, but yeah. I'll see y'all next time. Oh, and let me know if you'd like more vlogs because I'm trying to like be out even though it's like social distancing and quarantine. So let me know.